Okay, and welcome back to day two of this limited budget food challenge. It's two pound for two people for two days and all the food has to be vegetarian and dairy free. Here are the rules very quickly and breakfast today was the same as day one. Except since this was cooked using yesterday's teaspoon allowances, today I added one teaspoon of golden syrup to this, which did make it slightly nicer. Billy wasn't hungry yet, so just me for breakfast for now. Anyway, on with the day, and if you haven't seen day one yet, it's in the top corner or in the description. Billy did end up having some toast with one teaspoon of peanut butter and jam on it. I think we'll let it slide. Okay, day two lunch, and I'm going to make something like a stir fry using this half of the carrot, a tiny bit of onion, these noodles, the, the bit of ginger, and this leftover rice. For our teaspoon allowance, some soy sauce, Maybe some parsley, but I might just go with two teaspoons of soy sauce. We'll see how it goes and we'll decide later on. So the first thing I need to do is get some water on to boil for the noodles. Okay, water's on, so let's start chopping up some veg. I think we're going to go with strips of carrot. That tiny bit of ginger. There you go. That'll do something, hopefully. And then the onion, I'm just going to use maybe a third of that, because I do want most of it for later. Not even a third. Okay, water's nearly boiled, so let's open the noodles. going to keep this for later, don't need it right now. I'm going to drop these into the pan. Just let those cook through whilst we get everything else sorted. I think I'm going to use a few chickpeas. Not many, but I'm going to open them and just put a few in when it cooks, just for some protein and fibre in our lunch. Okay, I think we're ready to move over to the wok. Okay, now let's go in with all our veg. And a pinch of salt. Okay, not loads, but I'm going to go in with a few chickpeas. Probably about a third of the can there. Noodles are looking cooked, I'm going to drain them. Okay, now I'm going to put some rice in. Sticking a bit more than I would have liked it to, but okay. And now the noodles. I'm going to two teaspoons of soy sauce. One. I didn't measure that, but let's just say it's two. Okay, gonna serve that up. Okay. Some parsley would have made all the difference to the appearance, but let's go give it a taste. Okay, what do you think of how it looks? I think it looks fine. I mean, it would be nice if there was some like greenery in it. Yeah, like parsley or something yeah. like that even. Broccoli or something. Mm. But it looks all right. It smells quite nice. It's kind of weird. I don't know, maybe I'm overthinking it, but the noodles and rice is a bit weird, but it still looks nice. We needed nice. the sustenance. I'm gonna get some more salt. Mm. Yeah? This is really nice. I mean, I would have way more soy sauce if I could. Mm. Soy sauce and some herbs. Yeah, and some different kind of veg would be nice. But... If I usually I would use spring onions instead of white onions in something like this, which also then looks nicer. Pretty successful, I think. See you at dinner. 
Okay, it's the final meal, and here's what we've got left. Half a bag of rice, spaghetti hoops, most of the chickpeas, the curry seasoning from the noodles, the carrot, and just under half an onion. And again, we're going to try and make a curry. I'm going to try and make a similar curry to what I made on the one pound video, using the same technique we ended up doing with the spaghetti rings. But this time, I've got some a few more ingredients that I hope are going to make it a bit more substantial, and I think the chickpeas are going to make it a much nicer and more filling meal. So, let's have a go at Budget Curry 2.0. <coughs> Originally this was meant to be a vegetarian challenge, but I think, I'll have to double check, but I think it has turned out to be completely vegan. So, onion, and another rough dice on that, the onion done. Carrot, I think I'm going to peel, the skin's getting a bit weird, hmm, put them in the fridge and I think that might have been a mistake. Rolling chop. Okay, now we need to tackle these spaghetti hoops. Last time I blended them, and I'm going to do that again, but I had watered them down a bit, so I think we might have to give that a go. I'm just going to go for it. I've got to taste it. That tastes like it's going to be a bit more suited to the curry than the Asda one did. Paprika, onion powder. Okay. Well, we'll see how it turns out. So let's go over to the stove. So, we'll start with quite a bit of oil, onion, and carrot. Okay, now I don't want these carrots to soften up a bit, so I'm just going to go in with some water and put the lid on for a bit. Just for a minute or two, and then I'll let that water cook off. Okay, while we let that water cook off, I'm going to go in with that spice mix. Doesn't smell too bad. It smells very much like a curry-flavoured pot noodle or something like that. I'll, uh, I'll throw the ingredients up on the screen, I'll take a photo of it. Let's mix that in. Not too sure on the teaspoons yet. Might use some more spices or maybe some herbs and some sort of acid like lemon juice. Give it a taste and see how we feel. Give it the chickpeas. A pinch of salt. Obviously that powder would have been quite salty so we'll be careful with the salt. Okay. So this carrots are looking a little softer now. Not cooked all the way through yet, but they will be. Now I'm going to turn the heat up and go in with the spaghetti hoops. I don't really want to use it all if I don't have to. And I think that is going to be enough. We're going to do a mix of garam masala and parsley. So that's one teaspoon, we've got one left. Not bad, still a little uh, hoopy at the moment, but we're, uh, we're getting there. We are getting there. Let's turn that down to a simmer, and we'll get started on the rice, which um, I won't film because I'm going to cook it exactly the same way that I cooked the rice on day one. Okay, rice is more or less done, so I'm just going to do the final thing for this curry before I just thicken it up a tiny bit. It's going to be about a teaspoon of lemon juice, and I'm thinking this will probably release about that much. Maybe I'll do it into the cup. So just about a teaspoon in there. I think is 15, either 15 or 20 milliliters. I think it, was it five? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's five, I can't remember. Okay, let's plate that up. So we're each going to have some rice. Spaghetti curry 2.0. Okay, let's go and eat. Okay, final meal of the challenge. Um, spaghetti hoop curry 2.0. Ready? <laughs> so, I'll get a bit of everything. What are you going for? <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> Cheers. What do you think? Um, it's alright. It's alright. The flavour is actually quite nice, but the texture is a bit weird. It's blended up spaghetti hoops. I wish you hadn't told me that before we started eating. I wouldn't have known. But you knew what was left. I thought you would have guessed. <laughs> I did. 
don't know, I just thought maybe you ate it like as a snack or something. Okay, it's just viscous water. I think it's a success. We'll see you in the morning for a reflection? For reflection? Yes. So it's a couple of days later. How did you find it? I didn't find it that hard, to be honest. I was pretty, like, filled up the whole time. I was never yeah. really hungry. I didn't think it was actually all that different from what I usually eat. <laughs> um, <laughs> I think it's a bit different to what you usually eat, because you usually have, like... More? More. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, you didn't eat the porridge, but you tried a bit. I don't tend to eat breakfast, but I thought... You were right in making enough for two of us in case I wanted to eat breakfast. But yeah, how would you rate the porridge out of ten? I'd probably rate it like five, but it would have the potential to be like a nine if it had honey or golden syrup or something. Yeah. Or cinnamon. I would rate it like a three. <laughs> it was kind of crap. Really? Beans on toast. Lunch number one. I'd go like five. Just bog standard average meal. Yeah, five. Day one dinner. Vegetarian chili. I really liked that. I think that yeah. was... I... You had it a bit later after it sat around and then we warmed it up again. And I think it became like, as it sat, it became like saucier. As it yeah. kind of some of the water evaporated off and soaked into everything. So I think yours looked like it was nicer than mine. I enjoyed it. I'd eat that normally. So what would you rate it? Eight. I think I'd go like seven. I thought it was okay. I didn't love it. I think it needed... I think it would have been better with like better quality tomatoes and maybe some beef, like a, some beef stock or a beef stock cube even. Breakfast day three was the same thing. Lunch, the stir fry. I liked that. I really liked I it. it was nice. I feel like that tiny bit of ginger made such a big difference. You could that. taste it in there. I did it could. definitely. I was really surprised because I kind of bought it for a laugh. <laughs> but it was no, actually it made quite, a really, really big good. difference. It was like I, I would say eight. I think eight's fair, but I would have liked some different, like some herbs in there, some different types of vegetables. If that had like some more veg in it, it would have been really good. Mm. And then spaghetti hoop curry 2.0, final meal. How was that? I didn't like that very much. No. Um. And not just because I knew it was made out of spaghetti hoops. I don't know, it, the texture was quite weird and that's like a big, big thing for me yeah. to put it down. So what would you rate the curry out of 10? After that tangent that I'll probably cut out. Two. <laughs> what? <laughs> I was going to give it a seven, like a six or a seven. But you gave the rice pudding a three, I was surprised at that. Yeah, I didn't think it was great. Well, Bye. thanks for doing cool food. I'm going to cut it. When we high five. Bye. Bye. That's probably not going to match up because this is about five minutes later and I can't remember where I was sat. Overall, I think this went a lot better than the last challenge. The food was much more enjoyable and I really enjoyed thinking about it and doing this. I probably will have another go at one of these in the future, maybe another couple of months down the line. In the meantime, please let me know how you found this video. Let me know if there's anything else you'd like to see from me, any other kinds of food challenges or something similar. Um, hopefully there'll be some new stuff out soon. I also have a newsletter and another channel where I post factual content. Please check those out if you feel like it, and I'll see you again soon.